What's up everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to another video. I know I'm making this video after a really long time, but I was busy with some other work. So let's start the video. We'll be testing Tomb Raider on three different platforms, comparing her face, because that is one of the things that has been uh, configured to be different on across these platforms. So we have the Xbox PC version, which is the definitive version on the Xbox for PC app. It says the definitive version. We'll be testing it. I'm guessing it will be similar to the Steam version uh, just because it will be way more compatible on the system and requires absolutely no work but I could be wrong who knows who knows I'm testing this uh, right in front of you and we'll also be testing the Xbox version on the Xbox Series X which is supposed to run this and FPS boost mode which means at least 60 FPS ideally this game should run 120 fps was released a long time ago so let's uh, take a look at the xbox pc version this is what it is we have the graphical settings so this is 1440p ultra except for screen effects and motion blur are off so uh, everything else is set to ultra highest settings possible and now we will start a new game create a new save normal is fine we're just testing a famous explorer once said for the record i will not play the cutscene the starting cutscene for every single version i think it's uh, pre-rendered so it's not required we'll see the uh, face of lara croft within the game and i will towards the end also add a side-by-side -side comparison because people really like that and gets more views also, if you're watching this video, I would highly encourage you to subscribe. It's free. It will support my channel. I need more subscribers. More subscribers means I'll be happy and continue to make more videos. In our darkest moments. And it is free. Obviously, uh, I don't have enough to ask you for donations or anything like that. My channel is not even monetized. It really help if we can reach 1000 subscribers. Something that keeps us going. Something that pushes us. You see the console version i think uh wait were we supposed to dodge that i don't think we're supposed to dodge it wait which key are we supposed to press here oh i see i see i see i see i see, I see. finally you can get to gameplay We'll play this for a while, then we'll uh, move on to the console version because I think I have to install it. So, uh, we will save the game though. I played this game uh, before. I think I played this in 2014 or 15, 2016? Yeah. 2014 or 15, I think. It was released in 2012. So, it's been a long time. So, um, this is where we'll end the video because we can see her face clearly now that the blood has been washed off her face. Uh, I would say 
it could be different yes it is different actually so guys it is different it is using a different face so this is the tomb raider definitive edition or the xbox app or the pc the face looks very different so i'm pretty sure um this is similar to the xbox app so this is the xbox console version this is her face this is what it looks like I, i'll probably add a side by side comparison with the xbox definitive edition for pc there's a tomb raider definitive edition for pc available through the xbox app it wasn't previously because the steam version is not the definitive version now if you want to look at uh, the definitive uh, edition phase you don't have to download the mods you can just play through the pc uh, if you install the xbox game pass app and uh, this is the console uh, version so we can see uh, it is the same uh, as we were expecting because if it's named definitive edition that would be different so they finally finally made it possible for us to play the definitive version through the pc without installing any kind of mod so guys this is the steam version i was just in the options making all of the choices everything is set to ultra as you can see and now we'll go to the gameplay um actually um this is fine we can just start the game new game because i wanted to show you uh there is a previous save which i have when i was testing this i don't want to show you that i want to show you the non-definitive version that is available on steam not who we are so that we can have a proper side-by-side -side comparison also even without mods it is possible to play tomb raider Adventure on pc tomb raider definitive edition on the pc so we'll see a little bit of the cutscene and then we'll ju directly jump into the gameplay. So now that we have seen her face, I think it's safe to get this. Because we have already played this. So here's her very different face as you can see. Um, maybe we'll watch this face with with a close-up later once we get into the main game let's free her Help! and guys if you like my video which i think you will because i put put a lot of effort into this subscribe to my channel because i plan on making a lot of videos related to um basically related to all of the good old games so comparing uh, some of the adventure games with the old adventure games that used to come out in anything pre-2014 i would say 2015 is when i saw a bit of a decline in in the content that the gaming uh, was offering when i say content i mean something like witcher for example is a really good content it came out in 2015 i know but that's where the decline usually started there are a lot of scenes in this game that are copied from horror movies i will be making a video about that uh, video games do usually take a few of their art from older games, from movies, our art, etc. So let's go outside. And this is where we will end the video. I wanted to show you guys her face. Here it is. You can take a look at her face. It's very clean looking thanks to the Steam version. Which I think is offering better performance for some reason than the Xbox PC version. But you have to understand the Xbox Definitive Edition is a completely different version of the game than the Steam version. So it's 1 or 2 FPS below but that's okay. Uh, maybe it's just this level. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.